Okay. So let's come back to what I have on the screen again. Um, this is the online library guide uh, for students to do research if they need to use the library uh, to look for resources from the library at home. Okay, and um, the address for this online library guide um, is, let me just go to the address bar. Here's the address bar up top. Um, oh, there are still more people coming in, by the way. Well, at this point, I, you know, there, there, there must be over 20 students uh, online. Um, again, when you first come on, um, you, you should have on mute. I mean, uh, yes, mute. So if there is any question, just unmute yourself and speak up. Uh, I will stop the presentation to answer you. So again, the address for this online library guide, um, is.gd, okay, forward slash library online. Okay, you see what I have on, um, on the screen? Right, and then if you press enter, you will get to immediately this website, the landing page for it. Okay, and um, on the bottom of this online library guide is my contact box. Okay, um, that's me, Wendy Chu. Right, here is my uh, office number and my email address. Okay, you're gonna see this contact box on every page of this online library guide, anywhere, right? You can, um, you know, use the contact information to get in touch with me. So if there's anything that you're not sure about uh, or maybe something else having to do with the library, uh, let me know. Okay, so with that, it's a very simple online library guide, three uh, steps, okay, on the tabs, right? Step one, Step two and step three. Uh, step, step one, we're gonna run it just to make sure everyone knows the most basic. Okay, um, I took a little longer before with the step one. So this time I'll, I wanna make sure that um, I don't uh, prolong that more than that's necessary. Um, so here is uh, step one, first time users. And there is my contact information. Uh, give it a, a few seconds as it's running the whole module. Okay. Um, this is so that you know what you need to do for you to access the library. Okay. Library basics for distance learning students in spring 2021. All right. To run it, let's just click on the next button. Okay. So, um, the most important piece of, inf of information to take away from the session is to know your CUNY login. Okay, this is different from the past semesters. As of uh, fall 2020, how you access library databases and all those electronic resources is to know your CUNY login, your username and password for the CUNY login. Uh, what is the CUNY login? It is the universal login for a lot of systems that the entire CUNY system uses. For example, the very system that you use to register for your classes, for your English 24, right? Uh, it is the CUNY FIRST system. And the CUNY FIRST system, you first had to create your, you know, your username and your password, right? And that is your universal login. That's the one, right? Usually it is your first name dot last name along with the last two digits of your ample ID number. Now, I don't know if students have with them um, the college ID card um, at this point, 
right? But you should have been given the ample ID when you first uh, created that account on CUNY first. Um, and then the password is whatever you set for yourself um, in the process of creating the account. Okay, so this uh, slide shows you, okay, um, you know, ex exactly the system login at this point uh, for the library. If you're not sure about what I am talking, um, you know, referring to, you know, the login again, um, click on the button that says still not sure, click here for more info. Okay, so it's going to, you know, tell you a little more about the CUNY login. Just to refresh your memory if it's been a while, right, since you touched it, since, um, you know, the again, the registration of courses. Now, um, The next slide, okay, um, shows the contact information for the IT department. If you do have login issues with CUNY First, okay, or your CUNY login, you know, you want somebody to look into the record, um, you know, to, to look up your password or to modify your password or, you know, um, any issue with this, uh, please contact the IT department student help desk, right? Here is the email address and the phone number for it. You can also click on the button that would get you to their website, okay? Because they have the technicians to walk you through, right? Or changing any part of your record on the system. Um, if everyone is okay with the CUNY login, then you will see on the left, right, this laptop um, that shows a window, right? Anytime that you are clicking on a link to an ebook, a database, right, um, you're going to see on the online library guide, um, you know, as we go through with the, the presentation, um, you're going to encounter this very same window. Um, you know, prompting you for that login. So um, remember that part. Okay, so let's go to the next uh, slide. Okay, so here is the one uh, about the library website. Now this online library guide that we are using is not the library website. The library website is a lot more, right? We are using this online library guide for research for Professor Beveridge's class. Um, you know, you are in this class right now. To make it easy, I, you know, put everything all on this library guide. So you wouldn't have to get to the library website. But there are other users uh, of the library website. And if you, after uh, this class need to get to the library website. You can still use this online library guide. Go to step two, right? You see, go to library website. It takes you there. And uh, you can also use the quick links on the Kingsborough website. Um, and the slide tells you how to find quick links, how to um, look for the library option under quick links. It tells you about, you know, the look of the website. Uh, as I said before, it's for a lot more people than um, just students. So, you know, if you're interested in the different uh, services available uh, in the library, you could use the slide to get a sense of what, uh, what are some of the services, right? For example, we have a lot more library guides um, than, you know, what, what you see right now on the screen. So, you know, you could click on library guides on the slide and there is going to be a pop-up that explains what that option is on the library website, as well as the link that takes you directly to um, that option from the library. So it's, it's um, a good learning tool. Uh, this one is a library promo video. Okay, it's a very short video. If you 
Um, if this is all new to you, if you've never been to uh, the Kingsboro Library, you want to see what the, the, the building looks like, you can run the video on your own, right? Uh, it's a very short video. It's going to tell you where things are in the library, where the collections are, right? Where to find, let's say, the copiers, right? This is if this is for again maybe when we open up uh, the building and you want to you want to have um, maybe a sense of of the locations, you know, a map in your mind of um, the library. And it also has a link to the directory of resources to students you see on the left. Okay, and this is very useful, you know, if you, if you have questions about, let's say, the bookstore or tutoring or um, the laptops, if you need to borrow a laptop, right, um, a lot of services outside the library, what's going on with uh, services, right, uh, in the different offices. Uh, the different departments, you can click on the link of resources and it's going to give you information, it give you the contact information, right, um, that allows students to get a sense of, you know, if again, due to the situation of the pandemic, um, you know, if you're not able to get to the, you know, the campus, uh, what is still available to me, right? Um, this can help you, all right. And um, finally, uh, to bring us back to the library, uh, we, uh, the library, the librarians are still doing um, remote reference. Okay, these are the hours. That means that uh, all of us are here for those hours when you are, you know, looking for um, sources for your assignments, if you have a research project, if you have a title, a textbook, uh, you need help searching for it, um, you know, you could contact me, you can contact the reference desk. Uh, there is going to be somebody answering your concerns for those hours. So it looks like all seven days you're going to have somebody there. Um, uh, let's see, there's a chat message. Uh, yes, this is not just for English. It's for um, anyone interested in, um, you know, the library, um, if you want to do research in the library, because it is very difficult. Nobody's able to get to the campus. Um, but you would be amazed to know that there is so much still available right from home, you know, and this is what the presentation is about. So that you see, hey, you know, even though I can't get the books on the shelf, I can get access to a lot of databases and a lot of electronic books still. Okay, so um, that is the end of, you know, the, the step one module. Uh, again, I'm running it to emphasize, especially the login, the CUNY login, okay, what you need to input um, for you to um, open a database, okay. Um, you will see, we're going to get to now step two, okay, library now, and um, go to library website. I talked about that before. If you need to go to the main page of the library website, um, but for this class, there is also right under that, go to English 24 Beverage Food Justice. Okay, that is your class page. Now, before I get there, I just want to bring everyone's attention to step three. Step three, student tools. Now, I'm not going to have that much time uh, for this presentation to go into these other uh, tools here. So on your own, when you're, you know, discovering the online library guide, know that uh, there are, there's a lot more help, okay, on this online library guide, uh, more than just uh, the resource recommendations on the class page. Uh, if you need help with citation, if you need help with research, you know, some, some students usually with the, the research process, if they're stuck at a certain stage of the research pro uh, uh, process, such as 
Um, I kind of have a topic, but I don't know how to generate the right terms, the search terms for my, um, you know, how for a database search, right? Uh, how do I do that if they are stuck at that stage? Uh, you may want to make use of the research tips um, element of the online library guide, right? Um, there are also, you know, research guides, other uh, research guides by subject, right? under uh, step three student tools. So on your own, um, you know, uh, explore a little bit more. Um, I'm not going to be able to get to that. But you know, if you do have questions about step three, later on, um, drop me an email. Okay, so let's come back to step two, go to English 24 beverage. And here is the class page. Um, here is spring 2021 the professor the theme of the class right and then here's my contact information uh, my email address my uh, office number and also the phone number for the reference desk remember we are doing remote reference for those hours so you know you can also uh, you know call any of us up and we'll help you with um you know research help um, right under this, you see, here is your class, section two. Um, this is the red box for the, you know, schedule of this library session right now. Um, I am recording the session. So after, after the session today, you know, when um, I, I finish uh, the, the, the editing for the video, I'm going to post the video up here. So, you know, for those students, hey, if, if you don't remember parts of the, the session today, or, you know, like I want to, somebody was not able to make it, I want to let them know that there is this recording. It's going to be right here in the red box, right? Just choose your section. There are two sections up for Professor Beverage. So make sure that you're looking at the right recording, okay? Session two. And as we scroll down, right, there is the section on recommended databases, right? Right under recommended databases, there are different tabs, right? Depending on what you're looking for. Um, here's opposing viewpoints and context. Uh, one of the databases, if you want to pretty much just browse different issues, right, um, to get some information about these issues, such as agricultural industry, um, factory farming, food insecurity, right, this would be a good database to get into, right, there is also the third one for background info, right, you see, as soon as I click on the third tab, it brings me the, uh, again, a new database, the Gale Virtual Reference Library, as well as you see here, the tip for getting into this database, right? I, I you know, maybe I'm gonna use this for this session around uh, for students to um, see what this database is about. Um, the middle tab, if I click on it, you see again, different databases, these databases are for scholarly research. If you're looking at um, um, journal articles, uh, peer-reviewed scholarly articles um, from the databases, these are the ones that I'm recommending. Okay, so depending on what you're looking for, click on the tab to introduce you to of the recommended database or databases, okay? Uh, as we scroll down, there is also a section for eBooks. Okay, there are five eBooks, okay? And they all have uh, a short description of the book, what the book is about, as well as the title link. So you just have to click on the title link to get into the book. Right, and these books I uh, searched in the library catalog and um, specifically for, 
excuse me, the essay that you guys uh, will be writing. Uh, they are perfect for, you know, what you, you, you need to, to, to check um, for you to, to uh, well, not just for the essay too, for your uh, other um, assignments. So not just uh, for the upcoming essay. I would say again on the theme of your class, um, all the books relate, okay? They, they would allow you to get um, information as well as related items from the library catalog. If we bring us to the bottom of the library catalog, you see right there is a search box. And this is where, you know, you can type in your own keywords um, and it is going to search for, you know, all the uh, items from the library catalog, not just, you know, one book or from one database, but from everything that the library catalog has access to. So I would say, you know, if you're doing research at a starting point, go to uh, up top, use one of the recommended databases first, okay? Or one of the books, okay? If you are, you know, if you want to be more thorough, if you want to really look into everything that the library has, this is, you know, when you come to that bottom section, okay? Just to see whatever else is available, okay? In addition, to the items that you've already found up top. And I want to draw everyone's attention to this green button that says click for video tutorial, right? So uh, because there are so many sections, okay, each section has its own video tutorial, very short, uh, about two to three minutes that will explain how you can make use of that section. Right, so if you're interested in any of the books, right, you just click on the green button and it tells you how you open the book, right, on this library guide. So they are all very short. I mean, uh, once I put the, 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 the whole recording on the class page, right, it is a very, it's going to be a much longer uh, recording. So you may not want to run through the entire recording again. Hey, you can also benefit from these uh, shorter video clips uh, from the different sections. So um, anyone with a question right now? If not, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get into a database so that people see uh, what they have to do uh, to get into the database. Okay. All right. So I, I don't hear anything and I don't see any um, message from chat. So let's uh, get us into one of the databases. Um, now, the first tab, opposing viewpoints in context, right? Uh, you notice that I provide a, a tip that says browse issues under business and economics, right? There are a lot of these um, you know, that you can search right from the database. But for background info, right, I want people to also, um, you know, make use of this other database, um, you know, because for your assignment for this essay, you have a lot of terms, right, from the um, structural racism, right? Uh, there, these are loaded terms. And you may want to um, gather some background information on these terms. I mean, even factory farming, what is available from the different um, encyclopedias to enrich my understanding of uh, these terms? Um, for, for this database, I also provided an additional video tutorial. Okay, I'm not gonna, um, again, just to show you it, the green buttons there. I'm gonna get into the database so that you have, um, you know a little more. Um, and as soon as I click on the database link, you see it's taking me to um, 
this, this window right now, it says off campus access. Give it a few more seconds. It now takes us to this familiar window. And if you remember from the module, right, this is where you put in your, um, your CUNY first or your CUNY login, uh, username and password, okay? And again, I wanna make sure everyone's on the page uh, as far as the login. If you have questions about this, if you have login issues with this, contact the IT student help desk. Um, the contact inf information is on that slide. Um, you can also, you know, like send me an email and, and, and let me know I'll, if it has to do with IT, I'm going to forward that information to IT. Okay, and for this situation, I'm going to use my own login so you see what this database looks like. So everything, if everything is all right, I'm going to click on the login button. And here is the the Gale Virtual Reference Library. Uh, give it a, a few more seconds. Here it is. Um, oh, from, from the online um, library guide before, from our class page, remember I provided a tip, the tip uh, with uh, the topic finder. Okay, so how we get to the topic finder is, you know, if you follow the steps, uh, you know, you're going to click on advanced search right under the search box, right? And this is where, you know, uh, you may just dive in right here, you know, type in your keywords. I like to use the topic finder because it gives me a visual, uh, you know, representation of the search process. I, I really like... Um, the way I discover information using this tool. So here's the topic finder, right? And um, it has, again, the search box. What is the term or terms that you're trying to get more um, information about? Structural, racism, right? You can type that in. You can type in factory, farming, right? You can type in, um, you know, as, as it relates to what your assignment is. Okay, there could be a lot. Industrial farming. Oops. All right, you see what I'm doing? All right, I'm gonna try, uh, stay with factory farming. And now just give it again um, a little time and I'm gonna scroll down so you see. Now the way you see the presentation, right, of um, information, you can visualize this either as tiles or wheels. I actually like the wheel, um, you know, because you, you see, right, uh, factory farming, uh, you, you, you see um, some of the areas, okay, um, having to do with your term, okay, animal rights, and anim animal welfare, in agriculture, okay, I'm going to say factory farming as it relates to agriculture, and you see as soon as I touch on that part of it, right, it's bringing you Okay, all the related subject links in this database having to do with that. Livestock intensity and demand, agricultural production of livestock, right? Modern commercial agriculture, right? If you click on it, and this is all factory farming, by the way, what you input, right, into the search box, factory farming takes you to modern commercial agriculture in the in this encyclopedia human geography people and the environment
And this is, um, again, an entry from an encyclopedia, a special encyclopedia. So, um, you know, usually the, the page, well, no, the, um, the length of this page, it runs to maybe, as I see the bottom, right? Two to three, two to three pages long. So not too long, but enough to give you an idea of factory farming. And then on the side, on the, on the right side, um, you know, if that's not enough, if you're not too clear still, and you want to grab, um, you know, a couple more related items, right? Um, they are all on the right for you, right? Agricultural industry, economic geography. You could, you know, click on any of those too. Okay. And then, um, now this is the library database. Right, and now that I have um, some background information on modern agriculture, and I realize that as I, you know, I'm thinking about my essay, I got some information from this. I want to let Professor Beveridge know um, I got the information from this entry. Okay, um, it's not too long. It's a, you know, again, two to three pages. Um, I want to cite it still. Right uh, to let her know that you know I'm taking some information from here. Um, if you're using a library database, uh, please look around on the screen because there are a lot of student tools available. Okay, um, some of the ones I mean I'm, I'm, I can't go into everything um, available right for students. Right, I mean on the screen right now, but I do want to draw your attention to one that you will need for um, research, um, academic research. And it's the one up top, right up here, with the quotation mark that says cite. If I click on this, it produces the citation, okay, in the uh, citation format MLA, or you could you know, set it to a APA or the other ones, right? This is the citation for that article. So I want to be sure I select it, right? And copy and paste into your Word document that you may have open, you know, for your uh, uh, essay. Um, if, you are, if you don't have the essay open, you can um, export it to, you know, any of these places, uh, you know, if you're using Google Drive. That's right, uh, MLA at this point for your English classes, um, it's gonna be MLA. But again, there are so many databases um, and you will see as you progress into your, your program, you know, you get into your other majors, you will come to know other citation formats too. And, you know, getting the citation from those other formats is, you know, the same. Right, you just, instead of selecting for MLA, um, you know, look for the other citation uh, formats available. Um, so let me get rid of that and show you once again, it is right here, okay, for this one uh, database, it's the Gale Virtual Reference Library. Um, let's come back to the online, uh, the class page of the online library guide right? We were just using the topic finder tool, right? And Gale virtual reference so that we know, you know, a little bit about, uh, let's say Mexican farmers or immigrant workers or structural racism, some of these terms, right? That you begin your essay with, right? Now that you have an idea, let's dive into, you know, the middle database um, I'm sorry, the middle tab, right? Uh, with some of the scholarly um, um, articles, right? For more in-depth information. So here is the middle tab for study, search for environmental scholarly articles, uh, three different databases. I'm gonna click on the first one, academic search complete. Okay, um, once I do,
and uh, it looks like it's getting right into the database. Uh, once you put in the CUNY login, right, you don't have to um, input again for, you know, that time of, you know, you're doing research, okay, any sitting, okay, for your online research, right, you uh, have only to log in once, right, after that sitting, you know, when you come back to your, your on a class page the next day, or maybe, you know, like a few hours later, you're going to see that it's going to ask you for the CUNY login for you to get into this new database, Academic Search Complete. So you see different from the first database, right, where, you know, you, it's a, the Gale virtual reference. Here, the layout, right, you, you see how it looks. You just have the, the search boxes. You just have the search boxes. So at this point, because you're looking for scholarly uh, articles, right, um, let's begin, right, what are you searching for? I'm going to say factory, farm, And it's, it's really helpful as you're typing in, right? You know, you, it, it's coming with additional options just to, you know, just as a way of, you know, like, hey, maybe that's already what you're looking for. Uh, factory farming and animal cruelty, right? It may not be, right? You may just uh, be interested in factory farm, uh, farm workers. You can um, you can type in these these uh, search terms exactly instead of you know choosing from those options. Okay, um, I have to. Okay, so uh, Nikolai uh, Williams. Okay, I just want to let you know again. I am recording it, so if you can't sit through the whole session, just be be sure to come back to the class page, and you're gonna see the recording of this so that you don't, you're not gonna miss anything. All right, so with that, um, yeah, let me know if you have questions later on. Okay, no problem. Um, okay, so with that, let, let's just go ahead with our search. We put in factory farm uh, and farm workers just to see, right? Um, what's out there? And also as a way of comparing the first database you see, if you remember the encyclopedias, right? The entry that's not that long, it's about two to three pages long um, to, you know, give you a sense of, you know, um, the term, right? That you, you know, maybe some, some basic background on the, you know, uh, your, your topic. And here in this database, looks like the results, uh, there are about 20, uh, uh, sorry, 38 items. Now, I want to bring us down to um, here. Limit two on the left side, right? There, you, you'll see something uh, called full text, right? Uh, and, and then something on the bottom is it's scholarly peer review journals, okay? Now, this is a, is a scholarly database, but it still contains some other periodicals. And I want to be sure that scholarly peer review journals are se selected so that you are getting exactly from those results, okay, um, the, the, the articles, the more in-depth articles. And I, I want to, um, sorry, I'm going to select full text as well. I did not do it uh, before, um, but you're going to see with the selection of full text, the, the results might come down a little further, but it is to enable to you while you're searching um, to see better items. Because a lot of times when you just look at a clean uh, page of results, a lot of them uh, do not have the full article. Right, oh, so now you have nine items, but all nine items have the PDF full text link. And essentially that's what the full text 
uh, feature does. It selects um, studies, the peer-reviewed journal articles that have the full text link um, available to you. Okay, so not a lot, I have to say, just on uh, my keywords, factory farm and farm workers. Okay, but you, you see, let's say that this very first one, respiratory exposures in, um, well, this has to do with chickens in the farms. So it's not really um, agricultural laborers, factory farms, health of farmers. Okay. Hmm. Okay, let's, let's go into this article. I'll click on it. Now, if I want to see the article, this is the record of the article, right? Again, um, the layout for this database is different from the first database. Um, you have the tools on the right side um, to, for us to get into the article, right? Here's the abstract, you know, um, it gives you a brief uh, summary of the article. But let's get into the article itself so that, you know, students can compare um, the kind of information in the different databases. Here is the scholarly uh, article. And you'll see, right, um, it is original research. Okay, so this is an, uh, a study a study that the following uh, authors, it's about, you know, six of them, uh, they've um, studied the farms, perhaps the chicken farms, right? Because this has to do with the, you know, I remember the mention of chickens, the poultry farms. Okay, so let's scroll down this um, article. It, you see that it runs a lot longer, right? Then the two, the two to three pages about you know uh, factory farming right this gets a lot more in depth right and if you go to the very bottom here is um i skipped over it before yes almost uh you know at the end of this article you see the list of references right so um scholarly articles okay um, the authors of scholarly articles usually show you the, the research that they've done for this, uh, for their work. And this research is listed at the end in the article. In case, you know, if you want to uh, follow up, right, you can now look into past, stu uh, past studies okay, that they reference for this study here. You could, you know, if there are additional uh, studies as you're reading from the list that you want to look in our database for, hey, you may want to write down the citation of some of these, right, and search and see, you know, what are those other uh, studies done on poultry farms? So at this point, after, you know, you have this article, you have a greater sense of, let's say, well, it's very specific. It's about poultry farms this time, not just any uh, factory farm. Okay, what's been happening to a lot of the workers in poultry farms? Right, you see how specific this is. It's a lot more in depth, right? And you may want to refer to these studies in the essay as an example or, um, you know, different examples. So here is, uh, you know, again, the database. And on the right side, I want everyone to see um, this button. It says um, site, right? But it's on the right side rather than on the top in the first database. If I click on it, and uh, here is the citation formats. I'm going to get into uh, MLA, right? If I end up citing this study on poultry farms, okay, for um, the essay, upcoming essay, 
um, you know, this is where I get the citation information. And this is where I put in, you know, like I copy and paste it into my Word document. Um, um, I, I think that there is a student, um, that maybe she's having a lot of the connection issues because uh, I, I, I've been omitting her a couple of times at this point. Hopefully everything is all right, but if you, know, you do have connection issues, come back and look at the recording of the presentation afterwards so you're not missing a beat. Okay, so um, here is the class page and we were just using academic search complete for scholarly journal articles. Okay, and let's come down now to um, the ebooks. Okay, um, now the books that I've selected, again, they're all there perfect for the essay that you guys are writing. You may not use, um, you know, the articles, right? You may end up, you know, using one of these books. Uh, I'm going to open the first one because they really do apply to the, um, you know, to USA, uh, Sweet uh, Tyranny. Uh, all of them do, but I find that, um, oh, you do, Professor Bedford, huh? you got the, the, the books already. Um, I, I'm glad because once again, you know, a lot of times, you know, um, in the days when the library was opened, you know, I'm pretty sure that there are a lot of print copies on the shelf, you know, that um, would would have been good too on the class page. But I'm just introducing everyone to, you know, the online uh, books at this point. So this is one. Um, and you'll see this is the library catalog. Um, it's loading up the record of this book. It is a book, you'll see it here. And right under the title, there is the uh, green link available online. So anytime that when you're doing um, searching, right? When you're searching on the library catalog and you see this green link for your item, uh, it means that you have instant access. You just have to click on it. It tells you that, uh, you know, uh, here's the collection. This is from the ebook central collection that has access to your book. And then, you know, at this point you click on the link. It's a few more steps, click on the link. And you know, if this is the first time that you're logging in for the day, put in the CUNY, uh, let me try again. So, um, you know, once again, if, if you have, um, you know, try, try again if, if there isn't any issue with the link. Here's the book, and this is an ebook. So you'll see all the chapters right in front of you. Okay, so you'll see, you know, chapter one, rural industrialization and imperial politics. Um, maybe two, contract farming, right? You come down to like the family farms, migrant families, farmers, right? Uh, immigrant labor and guest worker program, Mexican immigrants and immigration debate, right? So a lot of these, the politics of migrant labor. So all you have to do is click and it takes you directly to that page, right? So, I mean, um, I'm gonna get rid of the side panel. So it opens up the chapter further. So here's chapter six immediately right in front of you. Um, you know, no searching for the book on the shelf, looking for call numbers, all those that you need to do if, you know, the library is open, you have instant access to this book and you're looking at uh, chapter six immediately. So you can scroll down to do your reading. Um, I'm gonna come back to the, um, the library record, right, for the book, because this is here uh, where you get also, you see, the tool for citation. If the book ends up being the source, right? It's another one of the sources that you're citing uh, for the essay. You're gonna click on um, from the library catalog, the citation tool. And here is um, MLA and here's the citation. So you can just uh, copy citation to clipboard. Right here is um, 
the entire book that you just cited and then you paste it into your Word document. So um, all the tools, I mean, uh, on your own again, if you want to discover what the other tools are, they're all for your research. The more you use them, the more you'll see how convenient it is for you to um, do online research at this point. Okay, and if you have, um, you know, questions about use of any of these, um, again, send me an email, right? Uh, leave me a voicemail. I'll, I'll you know, I'll, I'll, I'll see, you know, like maybe there is an, a technical issue or something I can help with. Um, so the recommended ebooks and on the bottom, um, access to the library catalog, right? You can type in whatever you need. Um, you know, I'm going to put in structural racism, right? And what was it? Um, farming, right? Uh, you know, you could type in your own keywords uh, or you can make use of the subject links that I have here as well, right? You see Mexican agricultural labor, right? You could try any of these too. Um, let's click on the subject link. And at this point, you know, um, you're running the library catalog, so you'll see very soon you'll you'll be well familiar with, uh, you know, you can recognize the banner for um, the catalog very soon because, um, you know, it's something that you're going to revisit, not just for this class, but uh, as you get into your other classes when you're doing um, library research. So yes, here's the banner, right, for the library catalog, and it's still loading up. And it is a bit long. There we go. Uh, looks like there are um, 99 results. Now, using the library catalog, uh, make sure, you know, uh, it, as it's still loading up the page. Look on the left, okay, because it will show you um, some of the filters, right? And I like resource type. I'm going to click on the down arrow so that you have a sense of what those 99 results are. The 99 results are from articles. Many of them are journal articles, uh, books, right? In addition to, you know, maybe the five that I uh, recommend, there are so many other books in the library, right? Some of them could be print books, right? Um, so these are books, uh, book chapters. There, there's a lot. So if you open up resource type, it tells you what the, the results are. And if you want to hone in on any one category, this is where you set the filter. So very much like getting into the database, except when you're using the library catalog, right? It is searching for, you know, items having to do with your keywords from many, many databases at once. So rather than just looking into one book, right, or items in one database, the library catalog is for uh, upper level research. I say upper level only when you have or you need to do a lot more research than let's say, you know, uh, two or three sources for an essay. If you have a long research project, and you really want to gather, you know, everything from the library, from databases that you didn't think about, you know, before, right? You want to see what else is available. This is where you run the library catalog. Okay, so I see, yes, we've reached three o'clock, uh, a little more. Um, it, do you have any questions from the presentation? Okay, so um, if not, um, we will end the session, uh, but I will, you know, show you again my contact information right on the class page. Uh, you know, like contact me if you, you know, think of a question later, okay?
So, um, Professor Beveridge, is there anything that you want to, the link for the presentation is where? Okay, the, the, the presentation is, is right here, okay? You're gonna see section two, right, that's you, and you see this red box, I'm gonna post the recording right here on the class page. Okay, um, anything that you want to, you know, tell the students before I end the, um, this, this session? Okay, I just wanna thank uh, Professor True for actually presenting, um, navigating the library space and specifically <laughs> putting these resources together for us. Remember guys that we meet on Thursday for our class session so we could talk some more. You can definitely go in and um, review the recording, right? I hope you were taking notes as you were watching this. It was certainly an informative session.